Hey folks, it's Darren Sandy, performance poet, and this is the Year in Rhyme View where we recap 2020's best, the worst, and the unforgettable moments. But most of all, give thanks to the creator for guiding us through. For those who liked, commented, and subscribed on the first video, we have some giveaways for you. So watch till the end to see if you are one of our lucky winners. Before we go further, make sure to like this video. Hit the notification bell and subscribe to the most innovative channel for local spoken word poetry content, Borderline Spoken Word Poetry. This week was a tough one for Trinidad and Tobago and we will surely get to addressing some of the issues and these tougher stories. But for this week, I wanted to keep it as light as possible. Let's rhyme view 2020. An Arima magistrate dismissed an application to return seized drug associated money. No, he comes at all. The LA Times is reporting that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been Residents oh, with their hands up are symbolic. few minutes we've heard the first coronavirus vaccine. Once the Jambi tree in Tobago fall, I realized that even the spirits looking for out. For some of what 2020 witnessed was more than a spirit lashes something greater clout the nation into some strange notions what 2020 was really about. What kind of jumbie could make you kidnap yourself full armed robbery then sit down in the station and concoct a whole story is either people growing out there here in Maruga or you raise a board. Worst cut is your mark a ransom note to your family and get ignored. That is Jumbi. Trinbago never short of hysterics. And 2020 was never missing dread. We won up the Netflix horror and we come out with the sitting dead. While one body upright and nice bodies traveling in an Arima hearse dying twice. Former HDC homeowners asking for a re-ease from the blight of poverty. Maybe it not making any sense to you. But whatever could make sense in a country where WPC could pass CXC without passing but pass out in police service and get paid for nearly three years. You find it fraudulent? I suggest it's just the zombies out here prancing in and out of good thinking people, possessing right thinking citizens into all kind of evil. Matter of fact, no being is exempt because a dog could rush you after a shower and you could nearly blast off yourself or a frog could cut the nation's power. If that not straight from a golden lane tail, then tell me what else? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Ian and his son bringing to light how COVID has been cutting bonds between loved ones. Oh, COVID, thou has left us stricken. You are a zombie in your own right. Thou art sickening. Even in the zest, these zombies not sticking. Imagine spiritual lash turning into spiritual lash up head. Police filming zesters of all kinds of black. But not all kinds of wealth. I wish an upscale zombie could come in the ghetto so we could own a private big drain and get married how we want to and not be made to consume punching and push ups when all we want to is to see our flowers bloom and get hooked up like if we living in Dubai. And though the walkover looks like a victim of a highway full of drive bys, we never lost. Great is the DSS, even when the money locked in drawers. Great is the admin, except when you're ready for yours. And great are the repeat investors who bleed in gifts to give to others. It's only a zombie could create such exhibition of philanthropy. The girl who invite me in a circle, I just always wanted to donate her some money. That is how the Chinese does do it. That is what they say, ain't? So give your friend and ask she to help your pay rent. And maybe this zombie will leave us with a pavement to step out of 2020's twisting road. And maybe bandits will return the people ginger and clove. And maybe raw fire and the radio station will love to our clothes. Maybe they will return the Prime Minister's peacock. And maybe the PEP's leader will give the people an ease up. And maybe ministers will put the grading double statements on a halt. Somehow that may not be the jumbie. That may be Wendy's fault. But may the sunrise of 2021 be jumbi less or jumbi lesser because not all jumbi bad. Ask Iwa. And not all sunrise will be this hard. Sunlight will kill COVID. Because even in the midst of the severity, Trinbago will always have a jumbi of laughter. 
<laughs> Only I try to catch all, but of course there is more. If you like this week's poem, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. In each episode, I'm thankful for something, and today I'm thankful for my first international publication. Yes, during quarantine, I decided to test the written market, and the Indianapolis Review decided to publish one of my poems. And you can check it out in the link in the description below. So thanks to the Almighty God for that. Eh? We have two winners this week. One of the winners is Best Darky Nikki. She was a new subscriber. And the other is Teresha Harden for her comment under the last video. You both have won yourselves some borderline teas. The contact info is in the description as well. Comment earlier and let me know what new stories from 2020 that you'll never forget. And have a chance to be a winner as well. Remember, I'll be revealing my new logo come the final episode. So I always want to see earlier in the rhyme view. 2020.